Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what a chemical cell is. To start off with, we all know what chemical cells are. They are effectively everyday batteries that we use in our mobile phones, torches, amongst many other things. Now, a chemical cell must contain two things. It's important to know that it must contain two metals, so for example zinc and copper, and they must be dipped into a solution of one of their salts. So for example, zinc dipped into zinc sulfate, copper dipped into copper sulfate. The second thing they must contain is a salt bridge, which is something that allows the ions to move between solutions, as you can see here. Now if we use the reaction between zinc and copper sulfate as an example, then what happens is zinc will react with the copper sulfate and it will form zinc sulfate and copper. Now when this happens, the ions move, that helps to produce a voltage, as you can see here from when the bulb turns on. A chemical cell will continue to produce a voltage when plugged in until one of the reactants is used up. When this happens, it can no longer produce a voltage, we say the battery is flat. And that's all you need to know about chemical cells for the GCSE. So I've got two questions for you to have a go at. Pause the video, have a go at them, and we'll go through the answers in a minute. Right, let's go through. Question 1. Two things that a chemical cell contains. Firstly, is two different metals with solutions of their salts. That's going to get you your first mark. And then number 2, a salt bridge to allow the ions to pass between solutions. Question two, why does a battery, which is a chemical cell, stop working? The main thing and the key thing to remember is one of the reactants gets used up. So that's gonna get you your first mark. The second marking point here is saying that the ions can no longer flow or carry a charge. And then you can also get a mark for saying that voltage is no longer produced. So how did you get on? Hopefully you've done well, and I have got a couple of review questions for you, three to be exact. Have a go at them, and let me know your answers in the comments. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like, and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.